Well, 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 what do we have here? I just found out earlier today on NFL.com that Romo is going to be out for the next 6 to 10 weeks to that back injury he suffered against the Seahawks just a couple days ago. And you know what I think about it? They need to end the Romo era once and for all. This will be the fourth straight season that Romo has not played 16 games in the season, and this will be the second season in a row where he'll miss almost half, maybe even more than half, of the season. And I think this is the first um, injury in his back, which means it's going to probably happen again very soon after he comes back. It's obvious he can't stay healthy, and if he can't be on the field, then he has no use to them. It's time for him to be retire, or they need to cut him at the end of the year. Because he's under contract for over $100 million, I think, for the last, like, three years and another three years afterwards. You're really going to waste all that money on a guy that can't even stay on the field, probably? It's time. And you know what? Who you got right behind him? Dat Prescott, who's been pretty damn good so far in the regular season. He reminds me a lot of Russell Wilson so far in his preseason debut. That's how good I see how he could be. I mean, after three games, here's Prescott's stats in the preseason so far. He is 39 of 50, 454 yards, 5 touchdowns, and no interceptions. Plus, I think it was 2 touchdowns on the ground. So that's a completion percentage of 78%. Not bad. And a, NFL, a QB rating of 137.8. That is very fucking impressive. And that one game against the Dolphins, he had a perfect QB rating. And he almost had a perfect QB rating when they were playing the Rams in the first week of the year. So he... And both all the game, all three games so far have been well over 90. He almost got 100 again against the Seahawks the other day. So I am quite confident that he'll do not only just as good as Romo, but even better, especially with those legs of his. I mean, let's look at the Cowboys. They had a very solid defense last year, which is pretty impressive since they went 4 and 12 last year. They although they don't have um and Ezekiel Elliott did a solid performance too. And they have a pretty good receiving core as well with Des Bryant. This team is solid enough to I think they can easily make a playoff spot and win the um, NFC East. I mean, the Eagles are dog shit. The Giants are the best team in the division, but they're the Giants, so they can't do anything, right? And the Redskins are still mediocre. So the Cowboys have a good shot to make the playoffs and win the NFC East this year. Now, I got a lot of shit when I first did this, but I made a pre-prediction um, for this season... Right, I think it was like right before or after the draft, I predicted the Cowboys would win the NFC East at 8-8. Eight eight. I think I'm going to have to not, well of course that's going to be definitely changing, but I think it's going to go up now. I see him with Prescott as a starter, I think they can go 10-6, maybe even 11-5. That's how well I think he could be. But regardless how Prescott does, the Romo era has to end. Even if he, he um, Romo comes back after like half the season and he somehow does very good somehow manages to not get injured again which is very unlikely I mean he's going to be 37 this next year you got a whole bunch of money tied up with him and you've seen for four straight seasons he can't stay healthy for the entire season I mean it's time that he's, he's got to get replaced soon you either cut him or he's got to retire or something he can't be on the team much longer at this rate so I think the Cowboys should have um, Dak, I mean, yeah, Dak Prescott start pretty much the entire season bar an injury or very, 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 very bad performance to see how he does. And if he's good, maybe make him the starter next year and release him. And if he's not good, then maybe if you're a bad enough team this year, maybe use that pick, um, high first round pick to get another QB to be the future for the Cowboys. But the Romo era has to end soon. It just can't go on anymore. This is ridiculous.